now in this question the original value is 65 and square value 5 depreciable asset depreciable value being 60 as the life of the asset being 4 years this asset is going to be depreciated over the 4 years period at the rate of 15,000 rupees year after year. It's a normal illustration. Now I am going to pass to the entry where the depreciation is being routed through provision for depreciation. Rather than we are subtracting from the concern asset account year after year, I am going to add to the provision for depreciation account year after year. You understand? Let us see, I am going to pass the journal entry in the very first year. At the zero of the time, I am purchasing the asset, the journal entry for purchasing the asset being asset account debit to bank. The value I spent here being 65,000 rupees. 65. I write the value in thousands. Okay, in thousands. Three zeros removed. First year end, I have to provide the depreciation. What is the general for depreciation in usual case? Yeah. Depreciation account debit to asset account. But I am not going to subtract that value from the assets. But it is going to be added in the provision for depreciation account. So, new account named is provision for depreciation account. Value being 15 for the first year. Second year. Uh, then the depreciation should be debited to the PNL account for the first year it, it end itself. So, profit and loss account debit to depreciation. I am repeating the same year after year up to the life end. Come on, pass the entry for the second year end. The same depreciation account debit to provision for depreciation, provision for depreciation, the value being 15. And then the depreciation should be charged to the PNL account. So, profit and loss account debit to depreciation, the value being 15,000. The value being 15,000. Third year uh, end, again depreciation account debit, depreciation account debit to provision for depreciation, provision for depreciation the value being 15 and then the depreciation should be debited to P and L account. So, profit and loss account debit to depreciation account, this value being 15. Fourth year, I am repeating the same depreciation account debit to provision for depreciation. 15 and 15, that depreciation is debited to the P and L account. So, profit and loss account debit to depreciation account, to depreciation account. Is that okay? Hope you could not understand this. Now, the entry for sale, how do I pass this entry? On sale, the general entry being, I am getting the money, bank, how much I am getting this? Huh? 10,000 rupees to asset, to asset. What is the value of the asset? What is the value of the asset? No, the value of the asset is 65,000. I have not subtracted the depreciation from the assets. So the asset will continue to appear at its own original value of P65, right? I have not subtracted that. So, the value of the asset being 65, then what happens to the depreciation? The depreciation is accumulated in a new account called provision for depreciation. See, the new account comes here, provision for depreciation on the credit side. 15 is created in the very first year. Second year, another 15 created by crediting it. So, 15 plus 15, 30. Third year, again another 15 will be there, 45. Fourth year, another 15 will be there in the credit side. So, uh, in total, we have 60 rupees in the provision for depreciation. Is that okay? Once the asset is not required, then why do I have to maintain the provisions? Provision means if anything happens to that, this provision can be used for adjusting that. On sale of the assets, provision is not required. So, when you are supposed to sell the assets, automatically the provision is also not required. So, usually the provisions in the credit side, on sale, that provision should be now debited. That should be debited. So, provision for depreciation.
provision for depreciation debited how much is that 60000 rupees if there is any difference the difference is named as what either profit or loss 70 in the debit side and 65 in the credit side leads to a profit of 5000 rupees okay so to profit on sale or simply profit and loss account in bracket you can name this as profit on sale 5000 rupees now let me brief here in the trading and P&L account and then balance sheet. In the P&L account and then in balance sheet. Under first model, under first model, the asset value probably 65. In the very first year, 15 rupees is depreciation debited in the P&L account. On the same time, I am subtracting 15 from here, then it becomes 50. Second year, again I am debiting depreciation 15 rupees in the PNL account. From the 50, I am subtracting 15, then it is appearing as 35 in the balance sheet. In the third year, depreciation 15 is debited in the PNL account. The opening value of the balance sheet, uh, the asset item in the balance sheet being 35 and the depreciation for the third year 15 is subtracted from here and 20 will be the closing value. In the fourth year, the depreciation being 15, the depreciation being 15. And the opening value of the asset in the balance sheet being 20 from there 15. The last year depreciation is subtracted, it becomes 5 and finally it is also sold. So that will not exist. This is the first model. In second model, what I do is in p and account as well as in balance sheet. In the second model, depreciation, uh, depreciation 15 rupees in the debit side of the p and account as usual. Asset value being 65 in the asset side, the provision for depreciation could have been recorded in the balance sheets live beside as provision for depreciation. 15. In the second year, depreciation to be debited in the P dollar account is 15. In the balance sheet, that provision for depreciation no will be increased to 30. 15 plus 15, 30. The asset appears at the same rate. 65. We won't touch the value of the assets under the second model. And then depreciation for the third year 15 debit in the PNL account. And then provision for depreciation being 30 plus 15 45. And here 65 asset value remains as it is. Then under the last fourth year, the depreciation again I am debiting that in the PNL account 15. In the balance sheet, the provision for depreciation is 45, uh, sorry, 60, it becomes 60 and then the asset remains 65. As we plan to sell off, these two will be neutralized. These two will be neutralized. Once we plan to sell the asset, asset value is also eliminated. Provision for depreciation balance is also being eliminated. Asset value in the debit side, right? So, on sale it should be credited. Provision for depreciation the liability side means credit side. To eliminate its value, it should be debited. And neutralize uh, uh, the sale value with that so to find out any profit and loss because of this is that clear that's the predominant cases you have to understand but you may have not seen such a model in your text the provision for deposition may not be shown in the library side if you refer most of the text the other way of uh, recording this case is this is the method I'll guide you here right in the balance sheet they will write this way Asset value 65, provision for depreciation 15, so balance is 50 for the first year. Second year, asset value is how much? Also 65, provision for depreciation 30 and it is recorded as 35 in the outer column. Third year, the asset value is 65, the provision for depreciation is 45, subtracted and written as 30. The last year, 65 and 60 is subtracted and 5 rupees. Okay, this is 20. Okay, 20 and 5. This is the process we usually follow uh, in the text. You understand the difference between this model and this model. Here, from the WDV, I am subtracting. Here, from the original value, the depreciations are accumulated and subtracted. That's the main difference. That's the main difference. You should not miss out of it. 
and for this only i have given this journal entry you have to clearly understand this journal entry why do i credit the asset as well as uh, debit the provision for depreciation you have to understand this is another method of uh, providing the depreciation and you have to note one more uh, variant here while selling the assets sometimes they will sell by opening a new account call asset disposal account in the case of first model means uh, charging the depreciation in the asset account means subtracting from the asset account how do i open the disposal of assets account as well as in the second model also you have to understand how do i how do i open the disposal of uh, assets account separately if you understand all these things then the treatment of uh, accounting will be easier okay come on make a note of it